because we are live now good morning friends and welcome to fourth episode of season 3 of brain teaser <laughs> So good morning friends and welcome back to the fourth episode of brain teasers in this season 3 well friends all of us agree degree uh, december is the best month it's full of colors celebrations songs presents decorations happiness is simply flying in the air december is the month that brings christmas home and christmas brings families together even if you are not a christian not celebrating a christmas no one is definitely immune to infectious positive vibes but do you know how december got its name december got its name from the latin word decem which means 10 because originally according to romanian calendar there were only 10 months which began in the month of march the winter days following december were not included as any or in as part of any month later the months of january and february were created out of the monthless period and added to the beginning of the calendar but december retained its name as a responsible doctor we also know first december is observed as a world's aids day world aids day is observed on first december every year to raise awareness and knowledge about this dreaded hiv and a call to move towards ending this hiv epidemic it was first celebrated in the year 1988 and in 2019 the theme for this particular day is ending the hiv aids from epidemic community by community so as a responsible physician let's create an awareness of this dreaded epidemic amongst our own patients now coming back to our quiz on this cold sunday morning i'm ho- sure that you must be fresh and stimulated after a coffee in such a cold weather and ready for some more fun while learning today I have the privilege of having two of my co-hosts from eastern part of our country, Dr. Rupa Kroy, an ace vitreo retinal surgeon from Kolkata, and an avid quiz master of West Bengal. And the second quiz master is Dr. Mamta Singh, assistant professor and cornea surgeon from Patna, Bihar. Welcome, Dr. Rupa and Dr. Mamta. All these big shows and big prizes are not possible without the generous support of our trade partners. Team Brain Teasers is indebted to Mr. Ashokan, Executive Vice President, and Mr. Navneet from Microvision for being steadfastly with us. And last but not the least, let me introduce the backbone of Brain Teasers, my colleague Dr. Shilpi, who is also our co-host. My special thanks to Numerotech team, headed by Mr. Sai, for being technically giving us a strong technical support and conduct the technical part seamlessly, episode after episode. now it's time for me to familiarize in the absence of dr shilpi uh, i will be familiarizing you with the rules of the game yeah yeah my screen is seen sai Yes, yeah. So, friends, who can participate? Well, any ophthalmologist, be it from postgraduate to a practitioner, can participate in today's session. Today's session has five sections, and each section would have five questions. The format is in this form: the first two, section one to four is MCQ based, and the section five is rapid fire round. So, what would the participant see on his screen? when he is playing the game this is a sample question for your just uh, illustration this question says identify the character option a tom option b jerry option c, c donald and option d none of the above the <laughs> 
your answer will get recorded. Remember, it is fastest finger point. to press the correct answer and also press the save button. Rules. How do we assess? For the section 1 to 4, which are MCQ based, the correct response and the fastest finger first is considered. Who will qualify for the rapid fire round that is round 5? Each section winner, that is, there will be four section toppers, that is, uh, they will make it into rapid fire rounds. Also, the cumulative performance of all, all four sections, of, amongst them, the three people will be selected. So the, in all, there will be seven people who will be playing the rapid fire round. With, uh, that is the final section of this particular today's episode. And who are going to be the winners? Amongst the seven people who make it into rapid fire round, five will be the winners. How do we assess their marks? Their performance during the four initial sections plus the marks which they scored during the rapid fire round. In event, if there is a tiebreaker, Three questions will be asked and contestants with maximum correct answer will qualify for a respective prize. And remember, the judges and the host decision will prevail. So what are the prizes at stake today? There are five prizes, as I said. The fifth winner gets this prize money with a check, fourth, third, second, and the first winner gets a whopping amount of 5,000 rupees. Attention winners, section toppers and three cumulative performance will be invited to come live for the rapid fire round. The rapid fire round will be done on a Zoom platform face to face. They will be sent a Zoom link to permit them to join the platform live. Toppers, please do keep your registered mobile on, on as you will be getting a call from us and you have to immediately join log in to the Zoom platform. This is a disclaimer for everything. My first co-host today is Dr. Rupak Roy. He is a senior vitreoretinal surgeon who is working with Shankara Netrale, Kolkata. He is a keen researcher. He is an avid quiz master. He has more than 100 publications in peer-reviewed journal. So over to you, Rupak. I am stopping sharing. Rupak, you can share your screen, please. Thank you very much, Dr. Prashant, for this wonderful opportunity. We'll straight away go to the quiz. Am I audible? Yes, yes, of course. Th thank you very much. We have a wonderful quiz lined up. We'll start with the section one. We have five questions in this section. Coming to the first question. Identify this uh, instrument. It is a fundus photo camera, a OCT machine a biometric device or a specular microscope and your time starts now. Okay, time's up. The answer to this question is, it's an OCT machine. So it is an early prototype of OCT machine based on the principle of interferometry, performs high resolution cross-sectional imaging of the internal microstructure of the biological tissues by measuring echoes of backscattering light. So it's the image of an early prototype which was uh, used in the early 90s. We'll go on to the next question. Astronauts are prone to which of the following? Astronauts are prone to which of the following ophthalmic conditions? Cataract due to cosmic radiation, retinal atrophy, glaucoma, vitreous floaters, and your time starts now. up. So coming to the answer of this question, astronauts are prone to which of the following? They are more prone to 
glaucomatous optic nerve changes. So SANS, space flight associated neuroocular syndrome, it includes optic disc edema, hyperopic shifts, global flattening, choroidal retinal folds. This occurs due to prolonged exposure to weightlessness, microgravity environment. It is an interesting info in this context that Heidelberg has a OCT module inserted in the ISIS, the International Space Center to monitor ocular effects of spacelessness or weightlessness. Coming to the next question. What is this? You can see something at the tip of the finger. The options are gancyclovir implant, a flow signal implant, an intraocular foreign body, none of the above. And your time starts now. is up so the answer to this question is what is this this small thing that you can see at the tip of the finger it's an gancyclovir implant so vitrasat it is also known as vitrasat is a gancyclovir intraocular implant used to treat aids related psychomegalovirus retinitis drug is embedded in a polymer based system and it is injected intravitreally coming to the next question now, this is a clinical condition which is fairly common in retinal practices. This is a CRO. You can see there is a peel looking retina and there is an area of perfused retina here. So it is a CRO with the cilio retinal artery sparing. My question is cilio retinal artery is a branch of ophthalmic artery, anterior ciliary artery, central retinal artery, posterior ciliary artery. Your time starts now. Time is up. The correct answer of this question is ciliorectal artery is a branch of posterior ciliary artery. So you can see this is the blood supply of the optic uh, optic nerve head and the retina and the uh, choroid. You can see this is the ophthalmic artery and you can see the coursing of the central retinal artery and the posterior ciliary artery comes here. So this gives rise to the ciliorectal artery, which sometimes supplies invaluable blood supply in cases of a ciliar central retinal artery occlusion. Coming to the next question, which is correct. The spelling of, uh, of thysis is what? That is the question. This is A, B, C, or D. Your time starts now. Time's up. The correct answer or the correct spelling of thysis is option C. So what is thysis? Thysis bulbi is a shrunken non-functional eye. Results from severe eye disease, inflammation or injury or complication of eye surgery. With this, we come to the end of uh, the uh, section one. I would uh, invite Dr. Mamta Singh, my good friend. She's a uh, DO from RIO Chennai, DNP from Vadodara, Gujarat. She has a fellowship in cornea and refractive surgery from Ahmedabad, Gujarat. She's a senior resident in PMCH Patna. She is, has multiple roles. She is editor proceedings of Bihar Ophthalmological Society. She's a member of editorial board of the Eastern Zonal Ophthalmological Congress. The stage is yours, Dr. Mamta. For the next round of the quiz, I'll unshare. Thank you, sir. And I'm just going to share my screen now. I hope my screen is visible to all. Yes, yes. Yes. So we'll go ahead and I welcome you all to this wonderful quiz called Brain Teaser. And uh, I, we all are really thankful to Prashant, sir, for creating this opportunity, making me a part of this. 
So thank you, sir. And let's go ahead with the section two of brain teaser. So friends, here comes the first question for you. The question for you is, which intraocular foreign body cause least intraocular reaction? And the options are, option A is sand, option B is wood, option C is brass, and option D is iron. And your time starts now. Time's up and the correct answer for this question is option A, that is sand. There are multiple foreign bodies which are very well tolerated in our eyes like glass, plastic, sand, stone or ceramic. Wood, as given in the option, actually incites brisk inflammatory reaction. Brass contains copper. It can lead to chalcosis and retinal degeneration. Iron, as we all know, causes sigerosis, which can lead to photoreceptor and RPE degeneration. So moving on to the next question for the section two, and the question for you is, Vision 2020, right to sight, was launched in which year? And your options are, option A is 1980, option B is 1999, option C is 1976, and option D is year 2000. And here goes the timer. And the correct answer for this question is year 1999. Vision 2020 Right to Sight was launched on February 18, 1999 in Geneva by the director of WHO, Dr. Bro Harlem Brundtland. It was launched as a collaborative movement by WHO, an international agency for prevention of blindness, which actually represents government and non-governmental organization. So with this, we'll go ahead with the next question. Mamsa, so can I have the uh, privilege of introducing who was the section one winner? We have the yes, results with us. Yeah. It's yes. Dr. Prabhakar Singh from your own town, Patna. What's this happening, Mamta? Congratulations. <laughs> so that congratulations, brilliant, Prabhakar. Sir. Congratulations, Prabhakar. And keep playing. Uh, you, have to, you should uh, make it into the other rounds as well. Best of luck. Continue, Mamta. Thank you. Yes, sir. So the question, the third question for the section two is, what is, in order of frequency, the likelihood of traumatic retinal tears after blunt ocular injury? So if we have a case of blunt ocular injury, which of the following would be more common than the other? That is the question. And your options are option A, that is inferotemporal dialysis common than gi giant retinal tear or GRT, then superonasal dialysis, and then tear around the lattice. The option B is most common is superonasal dialysis, followed by inferotemporal dialysis, then GRT, and then tear around the lattice. Option C, inferotemporal dialysis, followed by superonasal dialysis, then GRT, and then tear around the lattice. Or the option four, which is the most common is the superonasal dialysis, then GRT, then inferotemporal dialysis, and then tear around the lattice. And the time starts now. <music> And the correct answer for this given question is three, option three, that is, in cases of blunt ocular injury, it is the inferotemporal retinal dialysis, which is most common. It is followed by superonasal dialysis, then giant retinal tear, then flap tear, and then tears around the lattice. And this I'm talking about only blunt ocular injuries. So the next question for the section two of brain teaser is, here we can see there is a picture of lady presenting with uniocular in ophthalmos. The question for you, my friends, is in ophthalmos in one eye without previous injury is suspicious for. And your options are 
Option A is cavernous hemangioma. Option B is metastatic breast carcinoma in a woman. Option C is orbital cellulitis. And option D is all the above. And the time starts now. <music> answer for this particular question is, it is metastatic breast carcinoma in a woman. So among the carcinomas, it is the metastatic breast cancer which is most likely to present with an ophthalmos. GIT, lung and prostatic carcinoma can occasionally present with an ophthalmos and cavernous hemangioma and orbital cellulitis, these two options in the question, they are characterized by proptosis, not in ophthalmos. So the next and the final question for section two is, which of the following Amsler grid chart is used to diagnose optic neuropathy? And your options are option A, chart one, option B is chart six, option C is chart three, or option four is option D is chart four. And the time starts now. <music> up and the correct answer for this question is chart three. As we all are aware, Amsler grid is used in screening, detection and monitoring different macular disorders. And we have seven kinds of charts, but it is chart three, which is identical to chart one. It's just that in chart three, we get to see red squares over black background. In chart one, this is white over the black. So this red on black design, it stimulates the long wavelength of foveal cones and detects color desaturation and opt in optic neuropathy and chiasmal legends. So with this, we have come to the end of section two. Over to you, Rupak sir. I will just stop sharing my screen. Thank you, Dr. Mamta. Uh, we'll straight away go on to the section three. So coming to the section three of the quiz, uh, we'll have uh, five questions in it. We'll start it start right away. So uh, you can see a fundus image and uh, something around the temporal to the fovea. Diagnose the condition. It's a toxoplasma scar. It's a torpedo maculopathy. It's a retinochoroidal coloboma. It's a healed choroiditis. And your time starts now. <music> So that's time's up. And the answer to this question is, it's a torpedo maculopathy. So torpedo maculopathy is also known as solitary hypopigmented nevus of the RP, paramacular albinotic spot syndrome, congenital hypomelanotic freckle, atypical macular coloboma. It's a pathognomic lesion, solitary hypopigmented oval shape with hints of a bullet or a torpedo and a wedge shape at tail extending peripherally and pointing toward the foveolar region along the horizontal raphe. Though it is most common in the temporal, just temporal to the macula, it can happen in retinal periphery also. Coming to the next question. So flicten uh, is due to endogenous allergy exogenous allergy, degeneration, none of the above. And your time starts now. So time's up. Uh, we'll come to the answer of this question. So flick 10 is due to endogenous allergy. So FIC10 is due to endogenous allergy. So can I interrupt now? Yes, yes, yes. 
So we have section two winner, he is Dr. Dharmeshwar T from Pondicherry. Congratulations, Dr. Dharmeshwar T, and be ready to join us Zoom platform at the end of conclusion of uh, four round, uh, four, first four rounds. Congratulations. Over to you. Thank you. So flicten is due to endogenous allergy. The option A is correct. So flicten oral ker keratoconjunctivitis antibiotics is secondary to an allergic hypersensitivity reaction at the cornea or conjunctiva following re-exposure to an infectious antigen that the host has been previously sensitized to. The antigens are most commonly of Staphylococcus aureus and Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Conjunctival lesions cause mild to moderate irritation of the eye, while corneal lesions typically have more severe pain and photophobia. Going to the next question. So fifth, the, the question is fifth nerve palsy can lead to ptosis, proptosis, neurotrophic keratitis, and lagophthalmos. Your time starts now. up the answer to this question is fifth nerve palsy can lead to neurotrophic keratitis so what is neurotrophic keratitis it's a rare degenerative corneal disease caused by impairment of the trigeminal innervation leading to corneal epithelial breakdown impairment of healing and development of corneal ulceration melting and perforation hallmark of neurotrophic keratitis is a decrease or absence of the corneal sensation we'll go to the next question uh, ptosis and midriasis are seen in facial palsy, peripheral neuritis, oculomotor palsy, and sympathetic palsy. And your time starts now. Time's up. We go to the answer straight away. Tosis and midriasis are seen in oculomotor palsy. So complete third numb palsy presents with complete tosis with the eye position downward and outward with the inability to adduct, infraduct or supraduct as well as dilated pupil with sluggish reaction. Partial third numb palsy may be more common and can present with variable tuction limitation of the affected extraocular muscles and with variable degree of tosis and or pupillary dysfunction. Going to the next or the last question of this, sec of this section, which of this is not a site of firm attachment of sclera with uvea? The options are scleral spar, internal ostea of the vortex ven, ora serata, and peripapillary tissue. Your time starts now. up. So the answer to this question is, ora serata is not a site of firm attachment of sclera with the uvea. Sclera is a firmly attached with uvea layers at optic disc, vortex vents and scleral spars. Vitreous vase is firmly attached at the ora serata. Thank you very much. I hand it over to Dr. Mamta for the section 4. Okay, sir. I will just share my screen. So friends, here goes the section four for you. I hope you all are focused on the screen now and sharpened. So the first question for all of you is, which of the following is not a differentiating feature of choroidal melanoma from choroidal nevi? So which feature will not be a differentiating feature of choroidal melanoma and choroidal nevi? And your options are, option A is thickness more than two millimeter, option B, Associated choroidal folds, option C, margin touching the disc, and option D is orange pigmentation. And your time starts now. Time's up. 
and the correct answer for this question is associated choroidal fold, that is option four. Shield identified several factors which may help in differentiating melanomas from the choroidal nevi. And the mnemonic is to find small ocular melanoma useful using helpful hint steli. Here T stands for thickness more than two millimeter. F is for subretinal fluid, S is for symptom. O is for orange pigmentation, which is due to lipofusine. M is for margin within three millimeter of optic disc. UH is ultrasonographic hollowness. H is absence of halo and D is absence of drusen. So coming up the next, next question, which is- yeah, Can I interrupt once? Yes, sir, please go ahead. Okay. So the section three winner is Dr. Divya Ramraika from Delhi. Congratulations, Divya. Be ready to join us on the Zoom platform at the conclusion of section four. Okay. So the second question for the section four is, modified osteoodontokeratoprosthesis or MOOCUP has been given by, the option here is option A, Dr. G. Falsinelli, option B is Dr. G. N. Rao, option C is Dr. G. Mendes, or option D, which is Dr. Anwar. And the timer runs now. <laughs> answer for this question is option A, which is Dr. G. Falsinelli. Professor G. Falsinelli from Italy, he modified the original technique of UCUP given by Dr. Stambelli. At Sankar Nitrale, ocular surface clinic, KPRO procedures are being performed since 2003 with the initiation of MOOCA procedure for the first time in India under the direct guidance of Dr. Falsinelli. The third question for the section four brain teaser is, US FDA approved model of posterior chamber fakic IUL is option A, Acrosoft cachette fakic IUL, option B, Vision ICL by Star Surgical Group, option C, Artisan fakic IUL, or option D, Acrosoft IQ IUL. And your time starts now. <music> answer for this question is Vision ICL by Star Surgical Group. The Acrosoft Cassette IUL by Alcon Group, it is actually an anterior chamber angle supported fakic IUL as we can see it here in this picture. The Artisan fakic IUL or also known as Verisys IUL by Abbott Medical, it is iris claw lens. These two, the lower two are actually USFDA approved, but it is the Vision ICL by Star Surgical Group, which is a posterior chamber fakic IUL, which was the question here. So the fourth question of this section four is, what is the approximate incidence of endophthalmitis after intravitreal anti vegf injection? Your options are option A, one in 7,500, option B, one in 2,500, option C, one in 10,000, or option D, one in 5,000. And the time starts now. <music> answer for this question is 1 in 2,500. The reported incidence of endophthalmitis following intravitreal injection of anti vegf is between 1 in 2,000 and 1 in 3,000. So the question uh, 5 or the last question for this section 4 is to remove the effect of confounding factors on results, the most appropriate statistical test would be option A, in what test? Option B, student's T-test. Option C, size square test. Or option D, multivariate analysis. And your time starts now. <music> And 
the correct answer for this question is option D, that is multivariate analysis. Multivariate analysis, it involves or it considers multiple factors at a time. So this was one test uh, which we want to use if we, if we have to consider multiple confounding factors. Analysis of variance or ANOVA commonly called, it checks if the means of two or more groups are significantly different from each other. That is what it considers. Student test, t-test, it has got its own limitation like it would be for a very small sample, sample size should be less than 30 and it has to be normally distributed population. Size squared test, it compares the observed result with the expected result and it will try to know if the difference between these two, if we are getting, it is due to a chance factor or due to, or it is due to the actual relationship between the variables under study. So the answer was multivariate analysis. And with this, we have come to the end of section four and over to you, Prashant, sir. Thank you, Mamta. Thank you, Rupak, for wonderfully conducting this sections. Uh, I have an announcement to make before we proceed. Dr. Divya Ramraika, who, who is the winner of section three, we cannot reach out to you on your mobile number. Can you be kind enough to call on this number 9000-87-9777? Dr. Divya, once more, re, re, uh, just uh, note down this number and try to reach out. Otherwise, we are not able to send the link for you to join on the Zoom platform. 9000-87-9777. Is it okay? Fine. So now we proceed. We have section four winner and it is going to be Dr. Mo Mohammad Ibrahim from Delhi. Congratulations, Mohammad. Please do join us immediately on the Zoom platform. Meanwhile, we will be continuing with our other part, some trivia. Still, we have the other cumulative three winners who can, who are going to join us on a Zoom platform. So uh, let me share my screen at this point of time. Yeah, can you see my screen now? Say my screen is visible. Hello. Yes, doctor. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, friends. There was a, some technical glitch. We have overcome it, and now we are back to you. Till we have the further three people who are going to play with us the final rounds, we will have some trivia rounds. Before that, some team introduction. No effort is possible single-handedly and it needs a team to carry out such a wonderful brain teaser function year after year, season after season. This is our team. We have Dr. Dinesh Garg and Mohit Dogra from Punjab. Dr. Neha from Delhi. Deva Khan and Dr. Deepak Mishra from Uttar Pradesh. We have Dr. Mamta who is today the co-host. Team, 
Archive of the Bible. Team. You say words. Team, 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 team. When you're in a team, it's always fun. Okay, we're back from Orisa. Rakesh and Dr. Tonal Kali are from Rajasthan. And from the land of Dokla. Dr. Purvi. Team 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 Tamil Nadu, we have Anand Rajendra and Chandra Shekhar and Nahum Jai Kumar. So it's a big brain, a lot of efforts, many brains work together to create this interesting platform for you, dear friends. So here we are ready with the other people who are going to play. The cumulative winner of four sections is Dr. Asma Sayyad from Jalna. Congratulations, Asma. We are sending you the link. Do join us immediately. Dr. Shalin Shah from New Delhi. Congratulations, Dr. Shalin. And Dr. Tanmay Mohapatra from Wellington, Ta Tamil Nadu. That is. So, Dr. Tanmay, Dr. Shalini, and Asma. Also, remember Dr. Prabhakar Singh, Dr. Dharmeshwar, Dr. Divya, and Dr. Mohammad Ibrahim. Please do join us on a Zoom platform till we uh, play some trivias which do not carry any marks. It's just a time we are going to buy before this finalist join us. As I already admitted initially, nothing is possible without the big mullah, that is the money. And we have a good commercial break. Uh, for this, in this commercial break, we are going to thank and play the videos on behalf of us. So the, these are the questions, some interesting questions related to ophthalmology. They do not carry marks, but you can attempt. Definitely, it will increase our knowledge beyond ophthalmology as well. So who is this person? Golam P. Man, who is playing the music. B, Robert McEmer, Charles Kelman, or Frank Riesinger. He's a, an ophthalmologist who is a playing a music. Can you identify this personality? Any guesses? Yes. He's Charles Kelman, the famous ophthalmologist who is also playing a saxophone. So he's an American ophthalmologist, an entertainer, jazz musician, and a Broadway producer. My goodness, he's such an all-rounder person we have hardly seen. Performances, uh, he has performed on Ohm's as radio shows and television. He's a saxophone player, musical comedy routines in Atlanta City and Las Vegas. His famous albums are The Right Pair of Shoes and The Moonlight Serenade. Wasn't it interesting? Yes, we ophthalmologists can be multifaceted. Very few of them, but naturally. The next question for you here is, Robin Cook, it rings some bell? Yeah, a famous writer who wrote multiple 
novels related to medical field which is the correct what is correct about this author he is an ophthalmologist option a he suffered from eye disease he had an eye surgery and he or he was a virologist you we would like to know what is correct about <laughs> Yes, the correct answer is he is an ophthalmologist who wrote multiple medical related uh, wonderful novels, stories. So now we move on to the next question. Charlie Chaplin falls in love with a blind florist played by Virginia Cheryl and finally cures her eyesight with a surgery. Do you remember this movie? Wow. Name the movie. Was it The Cruel, Cruel Love? city lights see a woman or a woman of paris so this particular thing where he cures this blind lady or a lady florist which movie was that year times <laughs> Well, so the correct answer is it is City Lights. Yes, it was a fantastic emotional movie. If you would have seen, it's a in fact it's a silent movie, American pre-court silent romantic comedy film that was written, produced, directed by himself, Charlie Chaplin. It had critic he he was critically acclaimed with worldwide rentals of more than four million dollars. So without speaking a single word. he could portray all his emotions and it was really a classic movie of those era okay sai how many people have joined us on the zoom platform yes sai dr three more to join four have joined already four have joined are they the first four section winners the first three dr prabhakar singh dr dharmeshwari dr divya ramraika has joined okay and uh, Mohammad, Mohammad Ibrahim, yet to join. Okay, I yes, think doctor, we can play our rounds with them. Meanwhile, okay, so it's time for us. Yes, um, so welcome, Prabhakar. Get your audio video on. We will play with. Move on to the rapid fire round and the section five. We have seven people: Dr. Prabhakar Singh, Dr. Dharmeshkar, Dr. Divya Ramraika, Dr. Mohammad Ibrahim as four section winners, and the cumulative winners of four section performance is Dr. Asma Sayed, Dr. Shalin Shah, and Dr. Tanmay Mahapatra. So, Dr. Prabhakar Singh, are you there with us? Yes, sir. Uh, tell me where where are you from and what are you doing right now? Yeah, um, currently I'm working as a senior resident in Ames, Patna. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you are with Mamta. No, uh, Doctor Mamta is in PMCH. Okay. Sir, good. he is yeah. a well-known person here, sir. Very good in cornea and refractive surgery. And you know, yeah. he he has won multiple quizzes so far. Like, okay. So you, for the no kind hard. words, Doctor. I'm speaking the heart out of uh, means the words for uh, other audiences who were participating. They had some doubts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Prabhakar, uh, are you ready? Ho, shall yes, we begin the rapid fire round with you? Yes, are you sir. aware of the rules of this particular game? Mm, yeah. 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 So what will happen? You have thirty seconds in all for in your store. In that, you can play maximum of five questions. Okay. So do not uh, means uh, ponder over the any question if you are not sure about because you have only limited finite thirty seconds to play within. Lesser you play, lesser will be your marks. But at the same time, remember if you play wrong, there is a negative marking of minus five. If you score right, you get plus ten. Okay. So yes. are you ready? Yeah. Hmm? Yes, okay. I'm ready. So Prabhakar, here starts your next thirty second. The smallest detectable amount of misalignment between two stimuli is called as. 
say pass if it's not pass. you're not sure. okay two in comparison to fake kicks silicon oil makes a fake kick i more or less hyperopic we have only 11 it seconds makes, left it makes more more hyperopic wrong wrong pentacam works on which principle shine flag correct dose of mmc used in trabeculectomy you have exhausted 0.2% 0.04% okay we take it fine you have exhausted your finite 30 seconds so you could attempt four questions out of which you answered how many were right two right one wrong one two right one wrong and one was passed okay do attempt with the fifth question for the sake of viewers you will not be given any marks but we can definitely play it choice of surgery in bilateral ptosis with poor levator function sling surgery yeah levator sling sling surgery okay ha ah, correct we take it so now Actually, let's i'm not on. able to see the questions on screen i don't know why uh the rest are able to see but fine whatever it makes no difference now we have exhausted our 30 seconds well played prabhakar Thank okay you, you are a star of uh, bihar that's what dr mamta is sharing so you played well so let's Thank for the sir. sake of viewers let us see what were the answers the smallest detectable amount of misalignment uh, between two stimuli is called as vernier acuity in comparison to fake kicks silicon oil makes a fake kick i less hyperopic pentacam works on which principle you said correct i answered correctly shemflug imaging and dose of my, um, mitomycin used in trabeculectomy again you answered right while the choice of surgery in bilateral ptosis which you had exhausted your time was frontal suspension you were right so now let uh, let's move on to the next participant next finalist dr dharmaswarti are you there with us yes sir okay can can you speak once more uh, uh, help me in some, um, pronouncing your name correctly uh, sir my name is dr dharmeshwari sir rameshwari dharmeshwari sir dharmeshwari okay okay yes, okay fine fine okay welcome dr dharmeshwari uh, which college you are or what are you doing right now uh, i am currently doing my senior residency sir I finished my post graduation from uh, aravindey hospital pondicherry okay so uh, senior residency at arvind itself oh. Uh, no sir uh, in a private institute which one uh, arabade vidya medical college pondicherry sir okay welcome so now you are a faculty there good yes sir okay fine so dharmeshwari are you yes, ready sir. with your next 30 okay. seconds shall we play yes sir yeah here starts your 30 seconds which enzyme converts fibrinogen to fibrin causing clotting in staphylococcus aureus infections pass okay regeneration of rhodopsin is dependent or independent of light independent of light correct during orbital decompression landmark on medial wall of orbit to locate ethmoidal arteries uh lacrimal crest posterior lacrimal crest okay wrong two treating regimens for treating new vascular amd after three loading dosages of antivage mm. we have exhausted 30 seconds yeah no sir pass sir i don't know okay unfortunately we have exhausted uh, the uh, allotted 30 seconds one correct one correct one wrong, one wrong two and two you passed well played uh, uh, dr dharmeshwari you can pay, attempt this fifth question just for the sake of fun you will not be given marks mean ocular perfusion pressure um 20 mm of mercury sir no mean ocular perfusion pressure okay fine let's move on to the answers for the sake of viewers coagulase is the enzyme which converts fibrinogen to fibrin which causes clotting in s staphylococcus aureus infections regeneration of rhodopsin is independent of light during orbital decompression landmark on medial wall of orbit to locate ethmoidal arteries is frontoethmoidal suture and the two treat and regimens for treating new vascular amd after three loading dosages of antivegf is prn proraneta and pretanextin the mean ocular per perfusion pressure equal to this is the for you okay well played dr dharmeshwari be with us Thank now you. dr divya are you there with us dr divya yes sir good morning sir 
good morning divya where are you from sir i am from here i am doing a senior residency from hindu rao hospital new delhi okay okay fine so what's I your specialty i also okay where have you sir, done I've from sir i have done my dnb where have you done from sir from hindu rao hospital new delhi okay. okay okay so what is your specialty of choice what are you going to excel in sir which specialty of chosen for sir, yourself sir fake oil emulsification wow fake oil emulsification good you are going to be a rich lady later a right choice for a right person okay <laughs> fine divya are you there with us now ready to play your next 30 seconds So yes, sir. Okay, here starts your next thirty seconds. General anesthesia usually lowers the IOP. True or false? False. Wrong. Most common refractive error found in cornea plana. Uh, hyperopia. Correct. A flea bursept acts on which VEGF receptors? All the VEGF receptor VEGF A, VEGF B. Uh, no. Wrong. gene associated with retinoblastoma ah, 22 hmm pardon 22 hmm no. wrong you have exhausted your 30 seconds well you can play this particular answer without getting marked it's jet z shaped appearance of blood vessels at the edge of cup is called as peonating sign correct you would have attempted had you not exhausted your 30 seconds so well you played uh, four questions you could attempt four three you were wrong one was right and one we uh, unfortunately we lost upon the time so here are the answers for you general anesthesia usually lowers the iop is a true answer most common refractive error found in cornea plana is hyperopia a flea bursep acts on wedge of one and two receptor gene associated with retinoblastoma is 13q deletion and the z shaped appearance of a blood vessel at the edge of cup is called as bionating sign well fine well played dr divya now it's time for us to move on to the next uh, finalist thank you divya you can now unmute yourself dr mohammad ibrahim are you there with us dr mohammad sai has he joined us okay he has told that he is not joining doctor okay so now uh, dr asma is with us yes sir asma you are from jalna my state of maharashtra yes so, sir what, what are you doing there are you in ganpati netralaya no sir uh, we have uh, i am in jalna there is one medical college uh, indian institute of medical sciences you remember okay. for off that quiz for the post graduates uh, Oh, we correct, 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 correct. You were a faculty <laughs> there. At that time, you were a uh, mentor for the PGs. Correct? Yes, ma. Yes, sir. Ah, correct. Uh, now I remember. Started. Correct, correct, correct. So Asma, mm -hmm. you have made it into the uh, rapid fire. Well, well played. Come on. Are you ready yes, for next thirty seconds? Yes, sir. Okay. Here starts your thirty seconds. Botryomycosis is most commonly caused by. um uh, mucor uh, sorry fungus wrong wrong don't, don't remember the name pretarsal fibers ha huh? pretarsal fibers are mainly type 1 or type 2 type 1 wrong wrong continuous emission of fluorescent light from ocular structures in absence of fluorescent dye is called as autofluorescence correct autofluorescence correct in corneal dystrophies triple procedure that is phaco oil implantation with endothelial transplantation is advised when pachymetry value is below below 650 uh, microns okay. uh, sorry more more than uh, 650 microns more or less more or less final when it is more than 650 uh, microns okay, you go it's wrong so well we have exhausted our 30 seconds you played four questions one round one right and three two wrong okay. right <laughs> no issues you played well that's the spirit so the fifth question we which you missed upon for want of time is this capsular te tension rings or segments are used when zonular weakness is more than that dash clock hours you can attempt it you will not be given uh, marks more than more than three more than uh, three clock hours okay let's see what was the yeah. answer actually 
it's more than four o'clock hour. So let's uh, see all the answers. Botryomycosis is most commonly caused by staph. Okay, it's not the fungus. It is the uh, this. Okay, bacteria. Pretars and fibers are mainly type one or type two. It is type two. And the continuous okay. emission of fluorescent light from ocular structure is called autofluorescence in the absence of fluorescent dye. And in corneal dystrophies, triple procedure is advised when pachymetry is more than 600 microns. And the CTR... Okay, I said 650. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's a, uh, CTR is used when zonular weakness is more than flow, four clock mm -hmm. hours. Fine. Thank well played, you. Thank Dr. You, it's a, it's Thank a spirit you, that is important. I liked upon, in spite of being a faculty, you are still urging for knowledge and trying to test your knowledge. That's great. Keep playing. Thank so you, sir. Thank you so much for conducting this. Thank you. Thank you. So now it's Shalin Shah. Dr. Shalin, are you there with us? Hello. Hello. Sai, Dr. Shalin? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Join, doctor. Yeah. Dr. Shalin, can you answer me? Unmute yourself. So can you hear me? Yeah. Now I can hear you. Yeah. Shall we go ahead? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. It's not animated. Okay. Unfortunately, this part, there is a problem. First question, refractive index of silicon oil. You go question Pass. Y. Pass. Okay. Pilocarpin directly stimulates which anticholinergic receptor in order to increase aqueous outflow? M1. Okay. Most common cause of congenital nasolacrimal duct obstruction? Uh, imperforate, imperforate valve of Hasner. In the okay, middle. correct. Percentage of riboflavin used during C3R? 0.02%. Wrong. Sequestration of proliferating lens fibers in equatorial region of the capsule is called as? Come on. You have exhausted 30 seconds. Let's see the answers for you. The refractive index of silicon oil is 1.4. Pilocarpine directly stimulates which anticholinergic receptors in order to increase aqueous outflow? It's muscarinic. And the most common cause of congenital nasolacrimal duct obstruction is membranous block of at the valve of Hasner. And the percentage of riboflavin used during C3R is 0.1%. Sequestration of proliferating lens fibers in equatorial region of capsule is called as somering. Okay. Well played, Dr. Shalin. I'm sorry for that technical glitch. There was no animation, but well, you could see all the answer questions as well as you answered well. You played uh, in general, uh, how many? Four. You attempted four, two, you think you, two correct, one and one was wrong, and one was passed. Well played, Dr. Shalin. Be with us for a while. We'll be interacting with you shortly. Dr. Tanmay, are you there with us, the final finalist? Yes, sir. Okay, Tanmay, where are you from? Uh, I'm presently in Wellington, sir, in uh, military hospital, sir. Okay, you are in military. As a? Uh, as ophthalmologist, sir. I just okay. uh, completed my post-graduation from r and hospital sir, and posted two years. Very good. That's the spirit here. This is sir. what we call our forces. People never, never die. They, they keep on playing. That's the spirit of it. I like it. Thank in you, spite sir. of being into a full-time job now, in, in fact, it is like a job. But sir. still, you have a quest for knowledge. That's great. Keep on playing. So, sir. Tanmay, here starts your next uh, last 30 seconds for you. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. In which modality of retinopexy does the chorioretinal adhesion be begins instantly? Pneumatic retinopexy. Wrong. Tear lens power of 0 0.05 millimeter is equal to dash diopter. Uh, next, sir. Okay. Risk of developing vitreoretinal lymphoma in patients with CNS lymphoma. What is the percentage? Sir, pass. Pass. Pass, sir. Depth penetration of UBM. Sorry, sir, I couldn't uh, able to hear your question, sir. The depth penetration of ultra biomicroscopy, UBM. Hello. And depth penetration of UBM. Uh, sir, it is not audible and uh, the questions are not visible also. 
I think the screen, we have adequate, uh, I think there must be some signal problem at your end. No issues. We have exhausted our 30 seconds. Well, this is the last question. Can you see it? Highest surface tension is of gases or PFCL or silicon oil. I think we, he has lost the net. Let's see the answers now. It is the laser photocoagulation retinopexy. The, the courier retinal radiation begins instantly. And the tear lens power of 0 0.05 millimeter is equivalent to 0.25 diopter. And risk of developing vitreoretinal lymphoma in patients with CNS lymphoma is as high as 15 to 25%. And the depth penetration of UBM is 4 millimeter. And the highest surface tension is given by gases. Correct. So we are at the end of the rapid fire round. So sir, I request. Uh, yeah, uh, please. Sir, uh, Tanmay here, sir. Uh, sir, I couldn't get the questions. Some network issue was there, I think. Yeah, I, I, I so, get it. But uh, as uh, our disclaimer said, Tanmay, uh, the network, you are supposed to be in an adequate network. Now you have exhausted 30 seconds, but we have marked your answers, whatever you have marked uh, correctly. So you attempted, uh, Tanmay, sir, how many? Three, uh, you attempted three, one was wrong and two were passed. Okay. So be it. Next time we will play in an adequate network. We play, Alma, we conduct this on a particular episode every once in a month. So be ready there. At that time, you should be in a good coverage area. Yes, Thank sir. you, uh, Tanmay. Do join us now. Be there on the Zoom platform till we mark your scores. Yes, so I think we have you, uh, through with the uh, all the finalists, rapid fire round is over. So I request all my co-hosts, my co-host Dr. Mamta and Dr. Rupak to join us live, get their video and audio on pit, as well as the finalists. Please unmute yourself and get your videos on. We would like to have some chat till our results are out. So kaha ho bhai, Prabhakar, aap aajo samne. Yes, sir, I'm there. Ya, Prabhakar, bolo bhai. ये पक्का है कि भैया ममता मैडम ने कुछ लीक नहीं किया मैंने पक्का क्वेश्चन दिया था सर विदाउट अ डाउट आई मीन लेट्स मेक इट राइट हियर रूपक के दिमाग में कुछ तो भी ऐसा चल रहा था ही टेक्स्टेड मी वेयर आर यू रूपक आज आई एम देयर आई एम देयर सो वंडरफुल इट इट इज रियली वंडरफुल टू सी ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर सीनियर रेसिडेंट्स एंड दे हैव द जील इन देम टू पार्टिसिपेट इन दिस क्विजेस एंड दैट इज रियली ग्रेट आई थिंक दिस इज अ ग्रेट प्लेटफार्म Thank you. Thank you. So Tanmay, are you there with us? Tanmay, we can, uh, you can unmute yourself. We want to sir, see you. Sir, sir. Hey, na? Bhai, fauji admi ho, hume aap se milna chaate hai, hum aap se. Sir. Yes, sir. Tanmay, aap pehli bhi aa chukke ho. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. PG quiz mein aate aap humare saath. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you came out with three colors. Sir, I was there till semi-final, sir. I know, I know. Now you came out, uh, you have completed your uh, this particular part and now you are uh, into a job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good, Tanmay. It's so nice to see you again in the platform and still continuing your zeal to participate and uh, test sir, yourself. It is one of the most interesting way of uh, studying, sir. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Me. Thank you for those sir. words. Rupak, this guy we conducted last. Uh, Rupak and Mamta, ma'am, we had a po All India postgraduate quiz for the first time in our country. And this guy was at that time a resident yet to clear his exams and he came up to the quarterfinals. What do you say about this man? That is great. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. You're in army? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're a commissioned officer? Yes, sir. So that now is what is your rank? I'm major, sir. Major. Wow, major. Major. Sir. Great. Thank you, sir. So, Mamta, I know uh, I, I have trust with uh, beyond you and this guy. See, these people from army and all, na, apne leak bhi kiya hota, to udhar dekhe nahi hote questions ke tarap. I am very sure about our country's. Oh, uh, and you are not trusting a Bihari. <laughs> okay, just because he's <laughs> from Bihar, right? You <laughs> mean to say that? <laughs> Man, this is, Prabhakar is from RPC. Now you have all the reason to believe him. No, no. Bhaiya, hamare desh mein ek hi jamaat hai. जो फौजी होते हैं उनकी इंटीग्रिटी के बारे में मुझे डाउट नहीं है
come ahead we can't see you just let us know about you a bit sir i am a final year resident uh, at huh? guru nanak kai center new delhi ji acha maulana aza ye hum bhi shaad hai na tum bhi bar bar aate ho yaar you are an <laughs> habitual offender or a habitual winner i should say hmm? yes, serial sir. winner habitual <laughs> फिर कैसा लगता है अभी आप भी थे ना ऑल इंडिया पीजी क्विज में यस सर गुड 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 सो से हेलो टू योर प्रोफेसर एंड डीन टेल मैडम केटी सिंह मैम आई रिमेंबर्ड हर एंड यू अगेन मेड इट इनटू द फाइनल गुड सो यू आर फ्रॉम द प्रीमियर इंस्टीट्यूट आई थिंक माय डॉटर इज जस्ट नाउ क्लियर्ड हर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन नीट एग्जाम एंड सो शी वाज टेलिंग मी कि यस गुरु नानक मींस द टॉप मोस्ट पीपल कैन ओनली मेक इट करेक्ट तो 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 तुम आ गए तो कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है ना हो 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 क्या रूपा, क्या बोलते हो? I thought uh, that's what I could uh, see your uh, face familiar. So now you are a faculty there, senior resident means a faculty, na, no? Frank? So you can say. Okay. So Divya, why only fake oyer? By, आजकल if I ask anyone, someone says retina, someone says cornea, someone says oculoplasty. You said I will continue with the bread hardcore thing with which is the bread and the butter. I want only bread and butter. That's it. Sir, because patient will be happy giving. Uh, I will give vision from hand movement to six by six. Patient will be happy, but in other patient will trouble me also, and patient will be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Cornea specialist, what do you say about it? And Rupak, who uh, operates only the no PL person. Rupak, kya kehna? Exam hai bada apke upar. Hamar uh, in our discipline, though there is no role of stellar chart. Only hand movement and counting finger is good enough. <laughs> हाथ देख लिया तो बहुत हो गया वेरी वेरी ट्रू एंड बट आई थिंक कॉनिय पीपल कैन डू वंडर्स व्हाट ममता मैडम शी इज इंप्लिकेटेड इट हैज चेंज नो विथ लैमिनर कैरेटोप्लास्टी एंड अदर्स या नाउ देयर इज अ रोल ऑफ सेवन स्टार्ट फॉर श्योर सो शी इज नॉट रेडी टू एक्सेप्ट माय फील्ड एट लीस्ट यू कैन कन्विंस हर दैट ब्रेड के बियॉन्ड भी अच्छी चीजें रहती है क्या शी विल नॉट हैव टाइम टू कम फॉर क्विज आल्सो शी ऑल द टाइम शी विल बी कटिंग एंड ऑपरेटिंग ओनली अनलाइक अदर स्पेशलिटीज So Divya, what do you say now? Any change of mind? No, sir. <laughs> Still, I I adhere to fake only. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Great, Divya. It was nice uh, interacting with you, Doctor Dharmeshwar. Dharmeshwari, yes, where are you? I'm a uh, native of Pondicherry, sir. Yeah. So now you are uh, again a faculty strength, correct? Yes, sir. madam uh, i think uh, amongst the co-host co today dr mamta is another co-host uh, who is a faculty in some college people like us private practitioners we are not uh, as intelligent as you faculty people come on uh, mamta madam kuch baat kijiye that you people are earning money <laughs> that is the difference <laughs> नहीं पर भैया नॉलेज इज नॉलेज एवरीवन बोस बिफोर ओनली नॉलेज नॉट यू आर यूजिंग नॉलेज फॉर अ बेटर पर्पस Come like, on, we'll have to talk about that. And you are getting money for it. That is the best part. Darmeshwar, is a pucho. क्या भाई क्या पूछ सकते हो faculty है वो. You can interact with Dr. Darmeshwar. So, uh, so Dr. Darmeshwar, you are uh, from uh, you are in Pondicherry now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, and you did you did your uh, PG from Arvin. Yes, sir. Arvin Madurai. Uh, no sir, I'm in Pondicherry, sir. I'm uh, DO DNB, sir. So I completed okay. my uh, DO from uh, CMC Wellore, and okay. then uh, pursued my secondary DNB in Arvindya Hospital, Pondicherry, sir. Okay. Doctor Manvi Sindal is there, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She is the chief in uh, Jyoti Retina, sir. Oh, she is the chief now. Yes. Yes. She is the chief now. And he has become chief now. Oh, that is great news. Okay. Hello. Okay. Thank you. So we have Doctor Asma there. Uh, yes, sir. Asma, yes, आगे आता हूँ. This yes, lady was a mentor to her postgraduate during All India postgraduate quiz, and now she is competing. What say? बोलो बोलो. क्या करना चाहिए? ममता बोलो. I think always I have to. Yeah, that's it. 
See, I think uh, if the faculties are as, uh, you know, uh, inspiring as this, if they have yes. so much of each to earn knowledge, naturally that rubs onto the postgraduates, you know. Definitely. Yeah, it's true. And so we salute you, Asma, for being such a wonderful faculty there. Okay. So I think we are always a student at heart. Oh, that's a great spirit. Good, good, good. So now it's time for us to know who are the people who make into top five. So the fifth, we will move from in an ascending order. So number five, Dr. Divya Ram, uh, Dr. Divya Ramraika. Come, Dr. Divya, and she will be felicitated with a virtual gift voucher by Dr. Mamta. Dr. Mamta. Here it goes, Divya. Congratulations, congratulations on your win. Thank you, ma'am. And just do and you know do three consecutive FECO surgeries. Just ek dum nikal do motiya ko siddha bar. She's going to be a, a great person for NPCB. She will be the brand ambassador, I think. Andy, sir. <laughs> Younger what else is your hobby, Divya? What else do you do other than often? Ma'am, I just like to play quizzes and I won in seven quizzes. Oh my God. <laughs> there should Divya, be specific section for these people also, sir. Divya, kuch baaki bachcho ko bhi chance do, yaar. Kuch cataract chhod do baaki logo ke liye bhi. Good, good, good. So congratulations, Divya. You will be sent Thank the gift uh, subsequently. So number five, Tanmay Mahapatra. Uh, number four, sorry. Dr. Tanmay Ajay. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Rupak. Congratulations, Tanmay. Very well done. Thank you Major so much, sir. Major Tanmay, say, sir. Rupak, sir. Is Major Tanmay, all the best. Thank, Thank you so up. much, sir. Bye. Sir, sir. Thank you so much. So good. Keep it up. And uh, we'd love to see you more frequently again in the next future episodes as well, Tanmay. Hmm? I never miss your souls, sir. I know, Tanmay. Thank you. Thank you for being so kind. And we respect all the forges and our salute to all the forges of our countries here. Great. Thank you, sir. Thank Keep you. The so, much, sir. so number three, we have Dr. Asma Sayed. Dr. Asma Sayed from Jalna. Thank you. Congratulations, Asma. It's thank a you, best thank big you. win. I mean, okay. <laughs> here's the certificate for Dr. Aspa. Yeah. Thank you, oh, ma'am. Yeah. So, winner number three. So, Aspa, great. Keep this up and keep rubbing this uh, positivity in your Only students. Two, that two, will two. mean a great generation ahead of ophthalmologists for our country. Hmm? Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Great. So, on number second. So, the runner up today is Dr. Prabhakar Singh. Prabhakar. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Prabhakar. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, come. Get your video on put, uh, input on. Yeah, video is on, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'll be Over to you, Rupak. Congratulations, Prabhakar. Thank I, you so much, sir. What we hear from Dr. Mamta, you are a prolific wizard. Uh, all the best. Keep going hard. Thank and you, you so need much, to sir. give me a treat for all these good words, okay? You cannot sure, get away with so this. Dr. Mamta. Thank you. No, definitely. <laughs> Okay, good, good. Keep it up. So now we have the who is going to be the winner? Any guesses? Okay, it's enough of uh, stretching you beyond, and so it's going to be Dr. Shalin Shahat. Dr. Shalin, congratulations. Come on the screen. Thank you, sir. Bhai, kya bolte ho bhai? Ab iske baad aage ke bachcho ko bhi chance doge ki nahi? Sure, sure, sir. <laughs> Ab participate karna hai aapko, par unko bhi chance dena hai. Yes, in sir. English, the word is called selfish. If you are getting gobbling all the <laughs> prizes. Huh? Hey, uh, Rupak and Mamta, this guy is a habitual hmm. winner. Yaar. Iska kuch to bhi karna padta hai. Kya hota hai? In log aise kya special kha, inke maabab khilate hai inko? Habitual ko quiz master bana dete hai. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> ye baat hui, ye hui baat bhi. So congratulations, well played, uh, uh, Shalin. Be with us, keep playing. We are happy yes. and proud to have see your face again and again. We, we yes, feel... I also I also look forward to uh, the first Sunday every month for the quizzes. Good, good, good. Keep playing better. Hmm? Thank you. Sir. So thank you one and all once more for wonderful quiz today's episode. Here we are at the conclusion of it. It's now time for us to say bye and sign off. 
so thank you dr rupak dr mamta and thank the microvision team head, headed by dr mr ashok and navneet and of course the technical team who is taking the back end office the mr sai and his numeratic team especially mrs manjula who just doesn't utter a single word and keeps us watching so thank you one and all for being with us and so we'll be meeting on the 2nd of january that is uh, at same time okay for the uh, next episode thank you one and all it's time to thank say bye bye from our end thank you bye bye, bye. so thank you dr shilpi bye, -bye. bye.